Alright, so what's up guys? Uh, today we're going to be looking at this new uh, brushless impact driver that I got. It's the Ryobi model number P238. It's on their 18 volt one plus line like we all know and love. Um, so it's got 2200 inch pounds of torque, a three speed selector switch. So it's got your uh, low, medium and high just for different jobs. And then this is also a big perk. It comes with the uh, three beam LEDs. They call it tri-beam LEDs. So that's going to come in really handy for um, working in dark corners and trying to line up screws and everything. Uh, it looks like it's got a three-year warranty, which is always good. And uh, this is actually the bare tool. So it's not going to come with the uh, battery or charger, but it that makes it a lot cheaper that way. Here is the sides, got some Spanish. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. I don't even really need a knife or anything for this guy. All right, so in here we got standard manual paperwork and the impact itself. Oh, we also got the uh, little belt clip and not much else in there. It looks like it's got the little security strip. That's it. Belt clip seems uh, standard. Oh, we also get a, a little um, Phillips bit. Seems decent quality as a whole. All right, let's take a look at the driver itself. got a really nice oh that smell that uh, new tool smell um, it's got a really nice actually fit in your hand it feels sturdy this tool selection switch in the back is uh, got a positive click on all of them Feels like a quality built tool, actually. Uh, Ryobi's come a long ways. This kind of sticks, but that just may be how that works. I'll have to check that out. Uh, this forward reverse switch, decent quality. The trigger is decent quality. It's even got a little magnet here, so you can uh, hold um, your bits and extra screws and stuff. And then it's also got the the little bit holder up there. So I was thinking, uh, as a little test for this thing, I'm not going to uh, do any driving with it today, but I did want to see what the differences in batteries just sound like, just from the, uh, the RPMs of it. So I got a 1.5 hour battery, a three amp hour HP battery, a four amp hour HP battery, and last but not least, this big boy, the nine amp hour HP battery. You know what, this four amp hour is not HP, so these two are non-HP and these two are HP. Um, but uh, should still be a pretty big difference. And as a little comparison, just with the sound aspect of it, I'm gonna try out this uh, DeWalt 20 volt impact I have. It's brushed, um, but uh, it's still pretty powerful. It's a uh, model number DCF885. I've got uh, the standard battery for this. It's a uh, two amp hour. And then also have the uh, XR battery. That's also two amp hours. They're all fully charged, and let's see what the difference in sound is. All right, and uh, just wanted to show you guys, too, how this um, collet actually holds onto the bit. I thought it was, you know, had an issue with it, but it's actually not. You actually just press it in like that, and then it clicks in, and then it ejects itself. It's kind of neat. You just go like that, and it shoots right out. So it's actually a really clever design because on... The DeWalt, it's a little harder. You gotta press it in and then 
that, but it, it doesn't have the same uh, force behind it. This actually feels higher quality, even though it's Ryobi versus Dewalt. So good to know. Anyways, so um, let's try this out. First is this uh, two amp hour non HP battery. It is uh, P, I'm sorry, this is 1.5 amp hour. It's uh, P107. High speed, or let's try low speed first. First ever crank. You see those LEDs. Those will definitely be handy in dark spaces. I got a little bit of wobble on this collar. That's not good. I don't know if you could see that, especially on this low speed. Yeah, that is not looking good actually. Hopefully that won't affect performance too much, but we'll have to see. Okay, so anyways, speed one. Speed two. And speed three. All right, so that was the 1.5 amp hour battery. Let's jump to this P191 3 amp hour battery. Speed one. Speed two. And speed three. That definitely sounds like it uh, was more powerful than the other battery, as it should be. It's uh, kind of getting hefty as a package, but this is a decent size. It's still usable, but it's it's getting up there. The four amp hour. Speed one. Speed two. And speed three. That even sounds uh, maybe a little louder to me. Let's try speed three on this again. And then speed three on this. They're comparable, but this might actually uh, sound like it's a little louder, like a little higher RPMs. All right, now this big boy. Whoops. We're back. I dropped it, but hey, real life, right? Uh, so let's give this big boy a shot. Let's go down to speed one. Click it in. That is a huge, hefty package. But uh, speed one sounds about the same. Speed two. Definitely feels like it has a little more torque in the hand. And speed three. Oh, yeah. Let's go from this sound down to the basic battery. It's maybe not super obvious, but in person, it's a pretty big difference. Now uh, let's try it next to, wow, look how it dwarfs it, that's crazy. This doesn't have the battery in it, obviously, but still. Let's try it with this uh, DeWalt with the standard battery. Now, this doesn't have a speed select or anything. It's just variable speed trigger. So. All right. And then let's try the DeWalt with the XR battery. This is their version of basically the HP batteries. Here we go. You can tell this one's more powerful too. They're small batteries, but it's higher quality. And DeWalt. Ryobi. Man, what a difference in size, though. Look at that. 
It's freaking nuts. All right, so looks like that'll do it. Let's just get a comparison of the size again. The Ryobi with this nine amp hour battery freaking dwarfs the DeWalt. There's no comparison size wise. This isn't even the DeWalt's uh, newest offering or their smallest. Their their brushless line is actually quite a bit smaller than their brushed, but uh, Ryobi tools are a little larger. Um, they might use older components that just aren't as compact and, you know, cost a little less to produce. So that's why we get the value passed down to us. But all in all, it seems like a very powerful uh, impact. I'm a little concerned with this collar, but I'll have to uh, look into that if that's normal. So you can see that little bit of wobble. That may be just normal. Um, impacts aren't super precision tools. That's kind of where you get into drills, you know, uh, a little more for your super tight um, screws and everything. As a matter of fact, let me show you. I've got this DeWalt hammer drill. And if you pay attention to this, I'll put this bit on it as it spins. See, you can pretty much read DeWalt still on this bit just because it's super flat. But if I take this same bit and put it on to this Ryobi, you can see it wobbles actually quite a bit. You know, not the end of the world, but it does wobble. Uh, let's try it with the DeWalt. Same bit, see how that looks. This actually has a little bit of wobble in it too. It always has. Um, this has been the uh, only other impact driver that I've owned in recent memory, so I've just kind of gotten used to it. So that may be just the way these things work. But uh, again, all in all, for the price of this thing and the way it feels in your hand, everything else, I'd say this is definitely a good buy. I'll be doing um, a comparison to mostly this impact, uh, seeing what they're capable of and comparison to side by side. And later on, I'll get my uh, DeWalt drill and compare it to the Ryobi drill. All right, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, have a good day.